welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. It's not your average MRE that we're looking at. What we're going to be doing is looking at some uh, lifeboat versions. The lifeboats and life rafts in particular. Now they're glucose barley sugar sweets. We've got two different date codes. So we've got one that was made in 2003, one that was made in 2014. So we've got 11 years between the two. And they have a shelf life of three years apparently. Now these are made by a company called BCB International Limited and they make a lot of things for the UK military. Now these are glucose barley sugar sweets. They come in a resealable tobacco type tin so as you can see the later one on the right has got a green seal of tape around it and the earlier one on the left is sealed with black tape. Now these are marketed as an emergency ration for life rafts and lifeboats. Compact ration is also suitable for personal uses and it's very similar to the MOD flyers ration. It's small enough to fit in your pocket or webbing. It's tough enough to drop in your kit and forget about it until the time comes to use it. Hopefully you don't need to. And the container can be used as a drinking or boiling vessel. Now what's good about these sweets is you can actually dissolve them in hot water to make yourself a nice sweet drink. Lift yourself up. A bit of perk rather than just, you know, sucking on them. You fancy a bit of a drink. You're sick of your water. And you know, spice it up a bit. You can stick one of these and then dissolve it and away you go. Now each ration pack, regardless of the date, does provide 386 calories per 100 grams and they come in as 170 gram packages. Now on BCB International's website, it does specify that they're double hard boiled barley sugars sealed in a waterproof tin. 170 grams or 6 ounces per pack. High in calories to aid survival whilst waiting for help to arrive. And a quick release, so the sugars are going to get into your system fast. So as I said, we can see both tins have got a seal around them, some electric tape. Now neither of them look to have been opened before. Now both tins, they've got a seal around them. One green, one black. I don't think it really matters about the tape, to be fair. You can see it doesn't appear to have been opened or tampered with. That looks to have been stretched back a little bit, may just be due to age and shrinkage. And this one here has just had a bit of um, wear out on the tape on the edge of the tin. Now these are standard tobacco tins. You see a lot of people who smoke the old style tobacco in the UK using these. So let's open them up, see what they're like. The tape's still really sticky, as you'd expect it to be. This st stuff does last a long time. So you've got quite a decent length of tape here. So should you be in a survival situation, this could come in very handy. A very sticky box. I'll open them up, as we can see. Got a nice little waterproof seal here. Still intact. And all of our sweets also look to be intact. They're very tightly rammed in. We are missing one. So it looks like I was wrong. Someone's had this open. Unless it is meant to be that way. We'll check with this one. But we don't we have uh twenty-three sweets. Twenty-three hard boiled sweets in our box. As you can see in here, pure confectionery it's got. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. None of them look to have leaked. Which, considering they were made in 2003, I'm quite impressed with because that tin's took some wear and tear. It started to fade a bit. This one's took a, few, a bit of a battering. The uh, tape hasn't gone as tacky on this one because it's not as old. So I'll just open this one up. The tins can be used to signal as well in a pinch, especially if you're in a life raft. You will notice that one says BCB International, that one says BCB Marine. The company is BCB International. And these ones are slightly different. This one's got 20 sweets. And these are square in shape. So I've got 24 round ones. 20 square ones. Right then, so the magic of editing, I've just been downstairs and I've just weighed them and it does seem that somebody has taking the sweet out of this one. A little bit annoyed, they were sold as unopened and complete. There's no point worrying about that now, is there? 
So let's take a look at this little beauty. I bet this is sticky as hell. Let's crack it open. Let's see what a sugar barley sweet tastes like. Now that, guys, that was very enjoyable. 14 years expired, made 17 years ago. Pure sugar barley. Nothing wrong with it. And the spirit of things, it says you can turn them into a drink. Let's see how right they are. Let's take one of these new ones. Funnily enough, I think this one's been stored a little worse for wear than the old ones. A little stickier, maybe it's got warm. I don't like sticky fingers. Right, let's give that a stir and see how right they are. Maybe you have to cush it first, who knows. But then when you're on a life raft, it's not like you've got a hard surface to put it down and crush it against, is it really? Unless you use the roof of your tin. Let's see what happens with that. While we're waiting, let's give one a try. There we go. There it comes. I don't know if I prefer the square or the round design. I think the square looks nicer. It certainly fits a lot more symmetrical into the box. Let me get into this one. But the round's probably got a better feeling in your mouth. Let's find out. Oh, sticky. You can see that the, the water's changed colour slightly, like it's dissolving from the outside. Yeah, I'm thinking I should have crushed it, but this one's really sticky and tacky. I don't think this one would have crushed well at all. It would have stuck to the paper. Proper dust. It's definitely shrinking. Well, it'll certainly give you something to do if you're stuck on that lifeboat. Nothing but the blue ocean on the range, but don't ask me how you'd board your water, because I don't have a clue. But if you're stuck in some jungle somewhere, or stuck in some forest or out in the hills and you boil yourself some water you make yourself a nice little drink eventually now I don't know what it's like anywhere else in the world but those of you in the UK like to visit the seaside you go in those little old rock shops get yourself some rock some sweets old fashioned sweets as well pretty much they sell glucose barley sugar sweets these identical absolutely identical probably even made in the same factory but what's really surprising, kind of, I mean it's sugar, it doesn't go bad if it's stored right. They both taste identical. They both taste like they were made a week ago. There is no discernible. There is absolutely nothing in the taste of these to suggest that they are six years old and certainly not suggest that they're 17 years old that is the oldest sweets I have ever tried and they are fantastic it must be harder to get it to melt the longer it takes because your water's going to cool down I can't believe the patience I'm showing waiting for that to dissolve. I mean, I'm 22 minutes into recording this video and there's no way you're going to see 22 minutes of video. A lot of the waiting to melt and dissolve is going to be edited out. I will be sealing these tins back up and placing them in my collection. But they're pretty easy to get hold of. I've seen a lot of these that have expired 2017 on eBay. I'm assuming because they're, they're the old stock that have been replaced. People have just got loads of them left over. Not really seen any properly in date yet though. Okay. I think that's about going to do it. I mean, look at that. That's pretty small, isn't it, guys? Right. 
Here goes. Cheers. That's not as sweet as you'd expect, you know. It's got a mild, not even orange, but a kind of orange. It's like a sickly, sweety taste. Not unpleasant, but I mean, there's not much water in there right now. If you're feeling under the weather, that would certainly perk you up. Do well as a hot toddy, that would. Yeah, it's not too bad. Right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've had these for a couple of days and I've just been dying to get into them. I'm glad I have. Glad I get to share them with you. So please like, share, subscribe. Hit that little bell button and you'll know when a new video pops up. Those of you that already have, thank you very much. And stay safe, guys. And I'll be back with you soon for more eats, treats, and MREs. Um.